Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jake Smash. This is another Watcher of Realms video. It is 12 18, Wednesday, January the 17th, and it is Faction Trials time. Very, very quickly, I'm going to explain why it's important to do Faction Trials. If you know why it's important, just fast forward. You won't hurt my feelings. Let's go to the Pantheon. You do your Faction Trials every single day, hopefully. You get insignias when you do that. You use those insignias to boost your Pantheon levels. Those Pantheon levels give your account, your entire account, every single hero in your roster, stat boosts, okay? And this applies to all heroes, all content in the game. It's a massive boost to your account. So do your faction trials every day, progress in them as fast as possible, okay? This is my final step-by-step -step walkthrough for clearing stage 10, 11, and 12. I have all of the others done for every single faction, so if you're struggling anywhere, I've got one-stop shop walkthroughs on all of them. Go check them out. I've got them organized in a convenient playlist. But without wasting too much time, let's get to today's faction trial. We're going to go to Cultists. Cultist 12. Clear the stage with the soul core intact and deploy three fighters. That last one is the tricky part. And the reason that it's tricky is because currently there are only three fighters in the entire faction. So you have to have Cyrene, you have to have Aatrox, you have to have Cerberus. Cerberus is legendary. Cerberus and Aatrox both are chaotic. Um, so if you don't have them, you don't have them. But this is the team that I'm going to use for this. You obviously don't need Demi. Uh, I did certainly did not have her when I cleared this. You don't need a Lord at all. Uh, it just makes life easier. So I'm going to keep her in there just for the stats, just so that I don't have to mess with gear. The concept will remain the same. Um, but you could use Lasir, Kriya, Lunaria, even Osiren, right? They're all viable. You can use Voltus. Uh, basically everywhere on this map, you need AoE damage. That's really it. So um, let's go Reeve. If you don't have Reeve, that makes this tougher. You'll need to put place a fighter down. And since a fighter will not be as strong as Reeve, you'll need some more damage to block this right side. The way that I'm going to do it, assuming you have a Reeve, the easiest way, we're going to put Vierna down. And Vierna is doing some damage here on the mob, but her major purpose in life is for there's a flying mob that comes from the left. And I'm going to use her to block to take care of them. We place Cyrene down here. She can start generating cost for us. Let's slow it down. So. Right here, there's a mob in the top left, and a mob will soon come to the bottom left, okay? If we have to place fighters, we have to place all three of them. The question here becomes, where do you need them? So you're going to have an AoE magic damage dealer in both areas. Now, depending on how strong they are will depend on which fighter you place in which area, uh, whether you place one in each of them, which one that is, which one has the least DPS from the, the mage, and... Uh, or maybe you have to place both of them. So for the sake of the video, there are less monsters that come up top. So I'm going to put the weaker fighter on the ground here. We'll throw Aatrox down. We'll just help. Let's do Iona's ult. There we go. Let's get Zealous on the board. Needs a buff. Just a little bit. I... I like his concept, but he needs a little, a slight buff. What the heck happened to, oh, one snuck by, that is, man. Spending all that time talking, I wasn't paying attention. All right, so let's throw this down really quick. Reeve, I mean, that's part of, that's part of doing this, right? That's reality. Sometimes you make mistakes, sometimes one slips by and it messes up the run, so it's authentic. Let's get him down. Let's get Iona down. This time we'll start her ult a little earlier so that we're not wasting so much time talking. Let's get some cost generation there. Let's get Aatrox down. Let's get an ult going. There we go. Much easier. Place things as we get energy. See, cake. Nothing even close to getting by. Now, I didn't have greed. When I cleared this the first time, you don't need greed. Greed just makes it easier 
for whether you're struggling to clear the uh, whichever area you're struggling with, right? Uh, whether it's the right side, top left, bottom left. Greed can put out some damage, but his main use, right, is uh, slowing stuff down so you have more time to kill him. So whichever area you need Greed, because he's a free login champ now, everyone should have him. Um, you just throw him in there. So let's get Zealous. Um, I'm going to put Hollow down to heal from this flying mall. If you couldn't get enough damage from your Zealous or Vierna or whoever you're using there to take out that bottom mob, that's where you would place your other fighter. Now, Vierna, I want her to grab this flying mob. That's her major purpose in life. Let's get Hollow, or not Hollow, sorry, Iona doing her job up top. Reeve. And then wash, rinse, repeat. It's basically the same thing. We've got a couple more monsters, but nothing crazy. So if you need, right, you can you can despawn Aatrox, let's see, let's say, so that you can play Cerberus if you need more damage, and that will still count as using all three of them. And it does not count as a death. Want them all in range. There we go. Let's get Vierna. She's doing her job. Speed it up just a little bit. Reeve. Yona. get you out of there so here right we can just place someone wherever you need them since zealous can't hit those back mobs i'm gonna place cerberus down there it's the most useful place for him iona's taking care of that top mob and then cerberus isn't gonna die unfortunately but um, we're done up top so we can start pulling people if we need um, we won't need hollow because the flying mobs are done if we had another DPS, we can place them down. We won't need it, but there's options for timing and placement. Uh, so cultists is pretty straightforward. The, the hardest thing about it is having three fighters. If you have the three fighters, it's pretty simple. So that's the run. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. If it did, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one.